on this edition of the coffers does size really matter Welcome back, guys. So, after cleansing the palate, if you will, of Godzilla Kong merchandise, I bet you guys figured we were all done. Nay. No, no, no. Because these bad boys showed up at my front door this morning. And I wanted to jump right into it because, well, as far as I know, they're not widely available or currently available on American shores. So, what we have here are the band or playmates. I'm gonna say Bandai playmates three inch minifigures. So, these are in the same line as the crystal figures that are currently out, which I do apologize because it turns out my video was wrong about the color coordination. So, anybody who was following that, my bad. So, but these are packaged figures, so they are very similar. Actually, they are exactly exactly the same as the previous Godzilla vs. Kong line that had the two and a half inch minifigures as well. I actually just did a review of one of the Hellhawk. So you can go check that out on our channel. So what I'm going to be doing is opening up two of these bad boys because I have promised Suko as a birthday present to somebody. So, I just wanted to include him in here to show you guys he's part of this. So, there will be no Suka opening. But, that said, we get these two guys to open up. And we're going to check them out and uh, see how they stack up. Alright, so, we have Titanus Doug. And then we have this guy, the Wart Dog. So, I figured we'd open up the new character right off the bat. We'll get to Doug in a minute. I know everyone loves Doug. But, let's look at this guy. I was considering that he is new to the series, at least movie-wise. The pain of opening carded figures. Alright, we got him out. So, here we go. This is the Wart Dog. Much like the Godzilla vs. Kong set that I reviewed the other day, this is one of the smaller titans of Hollow Earth that so far we've seen in the trailer for Godzilla and Kong. So, I guess there is a ancillary need to put in some of the lesser monsters. So, he is pretty solid. He doesn't, much like the other minis, there is no articulation whatsoever. But he does actually have a solid paint job for one of these minifigures. So as you can see there, brown, the white on the on the muzzle. Actually, you know, a pretty good paint job on the tongue. So this is the War Dog, one of the newest additions to the MonsterVerse. I believe he was in. Maybe in one of the comics, I'm not 100% sure because I haven't read up on all of the legendary books. That gives you an idea, though. So, let's uh, let's pop open Doug. Now, before anybody asks, no, I didn't really do a package review of the other figure because I wanted to hop right in, and I figured Doug will take it that time. So, here you go. As you can see, I got these online. So yes, these are from AliExpress, but these are official. I have seen the other, the other um, monster figures floating out there. So there's a barcode if anybody's looking. 
which is the Playmate Toys logo. So somebody had mentioned that these might be China exclusives. All right, so let's pop them open. And behold Doug in all of his glory. Um, yeah, he is pretty much a scaled down version of the figure that comes with Suko. Like almost verbatim. Uh, the molding looks exactly the same. The paint job looks exactly the same. Except this one does not move whatsoever. So this is Tiny Doug. Yeah. Yeah, not a lot to say because, well, there's not much about this figure other than it's a solid piece of plastic that represents Doug. So there you guys go. These are the Playmates Minis um, that are from AliExpress. Uh, they are official. They are part of the line. Uh, who knows when we'll see them stateside. I have seen some of the other carded minis start to pop up um, in some of U.S. retailers. Uh, if they're anything like last time, they might show up at Five Below or they might show up on Target as a mega pack. Who knows? But for right now, uh, it seemed like ordering them directly from China was the only way to get a hold of these. And, you know, I wanted to do something fun. So, like I said, Suko is going to someone for a birthday, but these guys, especially the Wart Dog, brand new figures, wanted to uh, give you guys a, a quick little rundown. So, that'll do it. And remember, if you guys like what you see here, we do have a show. It's called the Kaiju Kingdom Podcast. You can find us at thekaijukingdompodcast.com, or you, if you don't like downloading the show, you can find us on any of your favorite podcast streamers and all of our social media, which is in the show notes. And that will do it for this edition of The Coffers. Thanks for watching, guys. And we'll see you next time.